Installing Java and Selenium Welcome to our YouTube channel, Inem Technologies. We've launched an initiative through our YouTube channel, Inem Technologies, where we are dedicated to providing comprehensive educational content. Our goal is to cover the fundamental, intermediate, and advanced aspects of a wide range of programming languages and various technical tools commonly utilized in the industry. The best part is that all of this valuable knowledge is offered to you completely free of charge on this platform. All we kindly ask for from your end is your support in the form of likes and subscriptions. In this video, we'll walk through the steps to install Java and set up your environment for Selenium automation testing. It's crucial to follow each step carefully to ensure a smooth setup. Prerequisites Before we dive into the installation process, make sure you have a good internet connection and a laptop with a minimum of 4 GB RAM. Softwares to be installed 1. Java Development Kit, JDK 2. Eclipse 3. Maven Project with Dependencies Step 1. Installing the Java Development Kit, JDK This powerful toolkit called as JDK has a rich history, initially developed by Sun Microsystems and later acquired by Oracle. It's a pivotal component of Java development and an extended subset of the Software Development Kit, commonly known as the SDK. The JDK equips developers with a comprehensive set of tools necessary for creating, debugging, and monitoring Java applications. The JDK includes a robust compiler. This tool translates your human-readable Java code into a format that the computer can understand and execute. Without this, your code would remain inaccessible to machines. Another vital component is the Java Runtime Environment or JRE. This environment is essential for running Java applications. It ensures that your Java programs can execute seamlessly on any system equipped with the JRE. But the JDK offers even more than this. It provides debugging tools that allow developers to identify and fix issues within their code efficiently. These debugging tools are invaluable for ensuring your Java applications run smoothly without errors. Which JDK to download and install? You'll need JDK version 1.8 or higher, as Selenium 3.x and above require this version. If you have an older version, uninstall it before proceeding. How to check your Java version that is already installed? To verify whether Java is already installed in your machine and to check its version, open the command prompt by pressing Windows key plus R and type CMD and hit Enter key. Type the command Java hyphen version in the command prompt that is opened. If you see a response as Java version x.x.x, this means that Java is installed. If you get the response as Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, that means that Java is not installed. Uninstalling old Java versions. If you have an older version lesser than Java 1.8, Uninstall it by going to Control Panel, click on Uninstall a Program. Search for Java and uninstall any lower versions. Installation of JDK Download the latest JDK version from Oracle's website and get it installed in your machine. Wait for the JDK to get installed completely. 
after removing the previous 64-bit Java installation. And if you get the error as unable to install Java during the JDK installation, then delete the contents in the following folders and redo the installation. Setting the environment path variable for Java. Even after the installation is completed, you will not be able to find Java as the path is not set. So we need to set the Java path. By default, Java is installed in one of these paths. To ensure Java is recognized, follow these steps. Identify and copy the Java path in your machine up to the bin folder as shown here. Open File Explorer and right-click on this PC and click on Properties. And click on Advanced System Settings at the right-hand side. Alternatively, you can press Windows key and type Settings and open the Settings app and click on Advanced System Settings. Now click on Environment Variables button. Inside the System Variables group box, select the Path option and click on Edit button. Press New button and add the Java path up to the bin folder and press OK on the Environment Variables window and the System Properties window that are opened. You can now check the installed Java version by typing java-version in the command prompt. Step 2. Eclipse Integrated Development Environment IDE Now that we have completed the JDK installation, let us proceed to download the Eclipse. Eclipse IDE is the integrated development environment we we'll use for writing Selenium programs. It's a widely used open source IDE for Java. Download the latest version of Eclipse and unzip it if it's a zip file. Eclipse doesn't require a traditional installation process. That's it. You've successfully installed the Java Development Kit and Eclipse ID. Now let us proceed to set up a Maven project in Eclipse and add dependencies in Eclipse for Selenium Automation. Different types of projects in Eclipse. In Eclipse, you can work with various project types. When it comes to Selenium Automation, you have a few options. Java Project, this is the most basic project type. However, managing dependencies in a Java project can be quite challenging especially when you are working on Selenium Automation. Maven Project Maven is a powerful build automation tool. It simplifies the process of packaging your code and managing dependencies. This is the preferred choice for Selenium Automation because it makes handling dependencies a breeze. Gradle Project Gradle is another build automation tool and it offers more advanced features compared to Maven. It's a great option for developers who need additional control and customization. Now, let's proceed with creating a new Maven project. Click on File, New, Other, to open the project creation wizard. Search for Maven and select Maven Project. Click Next. Choose the Create a Simple Project option and click Next. Fill in your project details, including the Group ID and Artifact ID. Click Finish. Adding dependencies in pom.xml project object model. Now that we have created the Maven project, 
Now we need to add the necessary dependencies to our Maven project. This is done in the project's pom.xml file. Open the pom.xml file in your project. You'll find it under the root of your project's directory structure. Add or locate the dependencies section and between the dependency tags, add the Selenium Java dependency. You can find the exact dependency on the Maven repository website by searching in Google with the search term as Maven Selenium Java dependency. After adding the dependency and saving the pom.xml file, you'll notice that Eclipse automatically updates the project's dependencies under Maven Dependencies. Adding this Selenium Java Maven dependency ensures that the required Selenium jar files are downloaded and available for you to work with Selenium. Organizing your code In a Maven project, you can organize your code into different directories. Here are two commonly used directories. SRC Main Java, this is where the development team writes their Java code. SRC Test Java, the testing team writes their code in this directory. This separation allows both developers and testers to work collaboratively within the same project while keeping their code organized and distinct. And there you have it. You've created a Maven project, added the Selenium dependency, and organized your code for efficient collaboration between developers and testers. Stay tuned for more tutorials on Selenium automation. Happy testing!